Good morning again, my friendly spoonies and everyone else, and also dogs. I slept with my phone last night. I mean, my camera last night, so that I could show you exactly the state of affairs upon awakening. At 10 o'clock in the morning on the 21st of October 2018, I feel like I've only been hit by two Greyhound buses and not one semi, and that's less than one semi. You'll learn the grading system as, as we become better friends. Mr. Levi has had a very nice morning. He went in the pool without permission and he was paddling around catching leaves. He's worth every ounce of work that I put in every single minuscule iota atom amount. Hi Daisy! Oh, Murphy came now. Murphy's a good boy. Are you having a good day, buddy? Daisy wants to be in the vlog. She says, yeah. Good morning, princess. Oh, you love Daisy. Daisy's the best. You want me to help you? Go, Daisy, go. Oh, teamwork right there. Daisy assumes her daily position. This was Levi's position when I was in bed in Tennessee. But when Daisy's here, Daisy's on duty. Rather, when Daisy wants to be, Daisy's on duty, and then Levi just does everything else. And I mean, Daisy probably is only trying to work for like an hour total a day, so it doesn't take away from Levi's working really that much. He just gets like some extra naps. Is that my warning to stop talking? Symptoms, pain, easily an eight, could be worse. Throat is sore and swollen, eyes are swollen and sore. My scalp is tender, my hips are sore. Those like two spots that I showed you on either side of my hips, those are sore. I feel like I have shin splints, but like they are burning while I'm laying in bed. Just like basically from the waist down, it's just like a burning sensation, but that's fun. Daisy wants to lay on the pillow like a Diva. Levi wants to be in the vlog. What? Oh, are you gonna be flirty boy? Huh? Are you flirty boy? Oh my goodness. How'd you do that? He's a flirty boy. He is a flirty boy. As always than usual, I'll show you all the things I get up to. Get ready. Normally, you would never want to vlog because it's not cute. The content you're about to see is probably a little cute because of the dog. <laughs> Goals currently are hydrate, medicate. Like Daisy does so many things Levi doesn't do, but they're not things that like I necessarily couldn't have Levi do. She just does them automatically. As a kid, I needed them done automatically because I didn't know what I needed, but now if I need a heating pad on my stomach, I can just tell Levi to position him in the right way. You know what I mean? It's three o'clock. I'm still doing the exact same thing, except the only thing you missed was a few anxiety attacks from triggered by people who live with me just I don't want to talk about it but my cell is activated and I'm just now 10 out of 10 pain I am just trying to deal in a little while I'm gonna try and eat some tuna and celery I can't look at you I'm sorry my eyes like I just cannot open them like I open them to be able to get the camera out and get everything on and then I can't once I get worked up, then it's like really hard to calm back down. That's the thing, is that it doesn't matter how calm I feel in my mind. It's my heart's still racing. I just have adrenaline and rage from my co-infection. I hate this. I'm always in a fragile state, and this person knows this. When I get home from a trip, it's the 16 to 1 CBD. I'm just trying to relax. Because when you have really bad anxiety, it's not always going to take more THC because it'll make it work. I'm trying to be real with you guys. It's not like exciting and you can't even see it because it's invisible That's what I don't get lately is why are the biggest people in the chronic illness community of invisible illnesses 
like not just not regular chronic illness but invisible illnesses community like why do the people that get the most recognition have the most visible aspects of their illnesses of their invisible illnesses if you look at me on the street i look like perfectly put together young woman training a service dog for someone who needs them I mean, it's not about me it's about all the people that i spent so long not being able to vlog and not be able to pick up my head and not be able to do anything and now that i can get to the point where i can lay in bed and vlog i'm gonna do it because i know there are so many people that can't do it even though my neck is hurting so bad with the vibrations of my vocal cords this is chronic fatigue syndrome this is lyme disease this is invisible illness. i'll show you my food when it comes i got used to the light so i could open my eyes all right bye Hello, it's 9 o'clock. I took a nap earlier and it sucked and I don't feel good and I'm in a bad mood. I've never vlogged when I've been in this state before. What is important is that I am still editing vlogs even though I want to die. This sound though. The next day. Good morning again, my friendly Spoonies and everyone else, and also dogs. I don't have any dogs with me right now, but both puppies slept with me last night, and it made me feel so much better, but I'm also such a mess. If you can imagine my adrenal glands, like a ping pong, no, what's it called? Oh, a pinball machine. Ping pong machine. <laughs> Also, I got a splinter in my finger in Nashville at the Parthenon because I have infections like it's really easy for me to get infections I don't even, I'm not even gonna show it to you because like literally overnight it became disgusting a huge pustule nasty infected mess so this morning I performed surgery on it and it's feeling a little better but that's why I have the band-aid watching hocus pocus because duh I have eaten an apple, which now is, yay, covered in ants. Now that the ants are taken care of, I'm gonna try and take some medicine. I've been sleeping so much, I've been missing my meds. It's not like I do it on purpose. I'm just gonna start Sunday's meds over again, I guess. Happy Monday. I have so many plans in the next month. It blows my own mind and I'm stressed about it. I'm in a lot of pain and I'm just trying to rest, but it's hard to rest when your adrenal glands are a Hawaiian roller coaster ride. Just everything is swollen, which makes it hard to think. And like my ears are like leaking fluid of some kind. I'm gonna get back to editing and hocus pocus. We'll be in touch. Just doing things for 10 seconds at a time right now. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's an ingrown hair. Oh, wait, never mind. There's a million of them and they're not ingrown hairs. They are hives. Okay, I'm gonna go be miserable and try and get unmiserable. Just so you know, whenever I'm miserable, I'm constantly attempting to get unmiserable. There's never a point where I'm like, yes, I want to be miserable and I'm just gonna be sad. Oh. I'm just gonna be sick. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm always like, oh god, I'm sick. How can I not be sick? What can I do? Like, there's, it's that kind of thing, and that's what gets me going. Okay, now that that's been clarified, peace. I have two little red girls. Don't know, Daisy. And I have a red bowl of food. And I haven't had tomatoes in two weeks, so I'm pumped. Oh, little red girl, she's so cute. Um, 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 um. Come on, mom, 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 mom. Puppy, so cute. No, Daisy. Wait for the frisbee. Okay, you ready? You get it. Get it. Well, that little interaction wore me out. I'm gonna sit and recover. Levi's always happy about his stick.
greetings, lads and lassies, and everyone else, and also dog. It's around nine o'clock at night. I'm gonna eat this smorgasbord and watch a movie with my mom. And then I don't know what I'm gonna get up to. Probably a whole lot of resting. I got my pills. I'm trying to take them. It's really hard. PEM is not a joke. It is not pretend. I can't hold my head up very well, so I'm just gonna lean it back and shovel food into my mouth. I've been sicker than this, but I've also been not sicker than this. Also, I have a huge, like, oozing, pussing boil in my ear that I'm just disgusting. Okay. Howdy. Movie's over. I'm tired. I'm gonna try it. Take some more meds. I already took some pills, but I wanna take some more. I just took some Benadryl. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. I've got some like mast cell breakouts happening. I just, I need to go to sleep. But some changes in my life are occurring. My mom is supposed to have surgery on the 24th, but they moved it to the 30th. So just expect the unexpected. That's my life right now continues to be my life rather I want to thank you for watching the vlogs if you do and thanks for supporting me and the Levi us people who are weirdos we gotta stick together I'm in a lot of pain I'm anxious I'm depressed I'm all the things if I took the time and went over all of it it would just sound like I'm complaining so I'll refrain and try and keep myself in the shot love you guys bye the next day good morning again my friendly spoonies and everyone else and also dogs it's Tuesday the 20 something of October and I'm feeling better than yesterday but Still not great. <laughs> but the good news is I've got a two little red girls in my bed. No dog will love you more fiercely than that. Now that I'm done crying about dogs, aka me every day, I'm oh, I love when Poppy stretches out and just like holds me a little. So sweet. Hey fellow Floridians, if you don't vote and you're over 18, you're dead to me. Thanks. I'm sorry the vlog's been going up late. I'm melting at the end of Vlogtober as usual. <laughs> but I'm working on it, you guys. I seriously am. And I want to do more daily vlogs. Maybe in November I'll do some sit-down vlogs and daily vlogs, like a mix of both. Doing Vlogtober really gets me back in the hang of like editing videos all the time and interacting with you guys, which I love to do. Because it's not about the followers, it's about quality of followers and I have. 532 quality subscribers. I'm a hot mess. Anyway, agenda for today is meds, Halloween costumes, editing, petting a puppy, just recovering from Nashville. I hate these days that I rest a lot and I'm like, this is what I'm doing, which is literally the same as every other rest day. Ow, that hurt my neck. Kids, don't be a dancer and then get sick because otherwise you'll just dance all the time and hurt yourself. I tried one of these Sertera patches and it was zero out of 10. I would definitely make your own topical salve or stick to a pre-made topical salve from somewhere. It was just not my fave. However, the 12.5 to one strain from Sertera works really well in a salve. Self-care might happen today, might not happen. In a perfect world, I would be washing my face and brushing my teeth and showing you and like making it a cute little montage of me getting back in bed and like being like, oh, I'm the self care queen not me you will not find that on this channel family and friends you want to see the Levi how are you today are you doing okay are you looking at this light that you hate he's like mom I'm trying to sleep on today's edition of looks gross tastes amazing leftover lamb and onion rings yay Cash me outside, how about that? There he is. Are you happy I came outside? Sorry for the flashing. 
<laughs> Hi, it's me, the crappiest chronic illness vlogger in the world because it's like midnight and I've just been eating and laying in bed. Mom's putting salve on me right now because reasons. Iris is licking the salve because reasons. Um, I'm in great pain. I'm feeling better than I thought I was going to after this trip so far with the PEM. But definitely not well enough to like plan an outing or like do anything, at least until Friday probably. Oh, don't mind those thud noises. It's just Levi dreaming. But you have to look at this tiny poppy can. Isn't she sweet? Oh, we love puppy kitty. Mom's putting salve on my stomach. I am going to try and drink maybe a, sh a shake tomorrow and start from there because starting on the 1st of November, I'm going to be on shakes for a couple meals a day. I'm gonna go, I took my pills. There's a lot of things I did, except I have nothing to show for it because I've been too tired to pick up the friggin' camera. Sorry, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, you're the best. Bye. Welcome to Crazy Town, you've officially entered it.